one application of pin junction is to form diodes diodes are electronic devices used to convert alternating current to direct current as you remember ac alternating current is the current which changes the direction of time that if this is positive this is negative current moves from positive to negative at point a that point b it reverses and goes back to the positive that's the nature of ac in such a way if you represent it in sinusoidal form it is variating like that however for dc it is always one direction okay one direction that's dc so conversion of alternating current to direct current is achieved by diodes so the electronic devices used to convert alternating current to direct current as it allows current to flow easily in one direction only offering very high resistance to the opposite ko kama kwa ac hapa si umeme unaenda hivi afu na reverse so diode kwa vile kama tumeona kwenye pn junction and forward bias umeme unapita kirahisi and reverse bias na give very high resistance such a way kifika breakdown voltage ya conduct umeme kabisa so Diodes like any other electrical components na yenye na configuration you can connect diodes in series you can connect diodes in parallel okay uh, however kitu ambacho ni interesting hapa cha ku note ni kwamba unaweza ukapewa diode ni passive diode ni passive component high produce umeme sawa so, high produce umeme hicho ni kitu ambacho inabidi u note. Kwa hiyo tutaangalia various configurations um, kama nilivyosema na yenyewe ni kama device nyingine yoyote tunaweza ikawa connected parallel au ikawa connected reversely. Sana sana inafanya kazi kama resistor kwa sababu na yenyewe ni passive component. Kwa tutafanya mifano tu direct lakini principle ni kama ile ile ya resistors. Na principle ya solve maswali yake ni kwa kutumia Kirchhoff's laws. So study careful figure one where x and y are identical junction diodes x and y are identical junction diodes so that these two diodes are identical with internal resistance of 2 kilo ohms each this each has 2 kilo ohms the first question you asked here uh, determine the current drawn from the source when connections are shown in figure one You, you you determine the connection uh, the current drawn from the source when the connections are shown as figure one. Uh, you can just solve this as normal Kirchhoff that if this is i that current that is leaving from the battery okay it is splitted here to i1 and here to i2 okay therefore if you take this loop here that goes down here as you can see the first thing you should have noted ni kwanza kuangalia diode zako zimejarange vipi umeme ukiwa unapita huku ni reverse bias so kwenye ma kwenye calculations kama hizi watu na assume reverse bias haipitishi umeme sawa so, reverse bias haipitishi umeme therefore there will be no current passing in this segment so ni kama tutakuwa tuna loop moja hii huku kwa tutaangalia tu loop yetu kwa kama kawaida kwa kichof ni sawa sana eh eh tunafuata current yetu tunaenda kwenye direction hiyo resistance ya huyu tumesema ni 2 k times i 1 plus tunakuja 2k na yenyewe hii resistor ni 2k na yenyewe so 2k i however if i 2 is equal to zero. you remember from the first law of kicho plus i2 is equal to i if this is equal to zero, then i is equal to i1 so this and this are equal so automatically you have 4k i is equal to 80 so i is equal to 80 divided by 4k where k is 1000 okay So from there you can get your value of I as you can see it's just simply like any other resistor calculation that you can you can solve. Again as you can see terminals uh, determine the current drawn from the source when the terminals are connected to the uh, junction diode X are reversed. When X is reversed that also this this time is reversed. Okay. 
Then that means current when is leaving the battery, it will be refused to pass there and it will be refused to pass there. Automatically the current that is flowing the circuit will be zero. So that's just the trick that is usually used in such questions. As you can see the last part that terminals connected when junction diode X are restored but those of junction Y are reversed. That this is the case that they say that if you leave this intact and you reverse this one here, okay? So that this is reversed and is now forward bias. So you have current that is coming from the battery, reaches here, splits to I1, here splits to I2. So I1 plus I2 is equal to I. Our first loop, if we choose to take that loop, then we have 80 is equal to 2K I1 plus finish our loop 2k i 2ki okay 2k 2ki 2ki in our second equation that the loop that will pass down here and goes back there we have 80 is equal to because this is now forward biased, we also have 2k i two plus 2k i automatically we'll have our two equations here. So we can therefore proceed to solve our our equations by using any other way and we shall get our value of i1 and our value of i2 so in case you have forgotten any of these things you can review concerning kitchoff's uh, lesson 4 and you can proceed very smoothly with this so th they are very easy questions as you can see how i have solved there so you can give a try to this question here you can try it on your own. Uh, just remember the the kitchen flows. Only that, of course, we we haven't studied uh, this, but we shall see this uh, in the couple of slides that are coming. Tutaona i achana na i achana na i anza kusolve You can solve this, and you can solve this. Only that kumbuka. Kwamba this time we bought two silicon dials, each of forward bias, my power forward bias is 0 0.7. It means bada ku calculate value of IR, tayari amesha kupa value yake ni 0 0.7. Haimanishi hui ni battery, kumbuka hui ni passive. Kwa kwa mfano, tukiamua kusolve, umeambiwa calculate the value of I1 na I2. So kwa mfano, tukiamua kuchukua hii loop wapa, tunasema hii ni I kwa kwenye junction na split kwenye i1 na hii ni i id therefore tukichukua hii loop hapa tunasema this is 20 is equal to i times resistance ya diode hapo okay tunamalizia id times resistance ya diode yo mwingine resistance ya za diodes ok again if we take the upper loop e outer loop tunasema ni 20 is equal to please revise um, chapter lesson 4 lesson 4 has kitch of slows imelezoa vizuri sana kwa kama ukielewa vizuri kule hapa tu it must be very easy so 20 again i times resistance ya diode plus uh -huh, 3.3k this resistance times i1 okay times i1 it goes back uh, plus 5.6 i though 
uh, this is equal to i the i that i've used d and e i2 because it is the one that i1 and i d join to form this i2 again i forgot in this equation as you remember ni loop hapa so ni saw 5.6 0.6 k i au i2 kama ilivyo kwa use hapo from there you remember that i is equal to for this case ni i2 okay ni sawa sawa na i of the diode plus i 1 that goes through the 3.3k resistor from there you can solve your current i1 and i2 and i if you like or id and the answers should be well with you just remember this part here of i tends resistance ya diode value yake ndio hii 0.7 na mesha kupa so usianze kushangaa mbona sijapewa resistance ya diode no hii product hii si ndo voltage ndo voltage drop ambayo mesha kupa ya 0.7 hii product ya i tends resistance ya diode ndio hii hapa mesha kupa 0.7 so you should be good with it that so coming to types of diodes we have the following types of diodes we have zener diodes light emitting diode light emitting diode light emitting diode we have photo diodes we have photo transistor diodes we have laser diodes at least according to our syllabus there are many more diodes ziko za aina nyingi nyingine nyingi tu lakini according to our syllabus at least tumeambiwa tuhakikishe tunajua hizo aina tano za diodes so tukianza na zina diode actually hii diode kama maelezo yake ambavyo yanajieleza hapa kote ni diode ambayo inatumika sana sana kwenye voltage regulation kwa kwenye voltage stabilizers voltage regulators kama unafahamu vifaa vile wanatumia sana sana zina diode okay so it is a proper uh, doped diode in a sharp reverse breakdown voltage called zina uh, uh, zina diode voltage zina voltage okay zina voltage it is a special diode designed to operate in reverse breakdown voltage is in the keynote to to not combine to operate in reverse breakdown region where an ordinary junction diode will be destroyed due to excess current ndio maana yenyewe ina kwa sababu kila diode kama nilivyosema kwenye graph ile ya mwanzo niisema kwamba inaweza ka withstand a certain amount of voltage reverse lakini itafika stage ambayo ni breakdown voltage itashindwa ita break down kwamba at that stage however you increase the voltage the current does not increase However for zener diode yenyewe it is designed kwamba isifike breakdown voltage kiraisi so it can accommodate that excess current kwa hiyo ili kusaidia kulinda kifaa chako na kukia kwa accommodate excess current in case of any kwa hiyo ndo maana inatumika kama voltage regulator so this voltage is called zener voltage So the characteristics as listed there the reverse voltage across diode remains almost constant kwamba itafika stage ambapo of course it accommodate it won't break immediately itaweza ku accommodate lakini itafika stage na yenyewe when you increase the voltage na maintain reverse constant reverse voltage so automatically kwa sababu ina sifa ya ku maintain constant reverse voltage inaweza kulinda kifaa chako na kuwa regulator again reverse current increases rapidly for this they can act as voltage regulator so i've already explained that so a zener diode is always reverse biased because it operates in reverse breakdown region na ina sharp breakdown voltage if forward bias it operates as, no, as normal it can just operate as a normal diode when under forward bias and this is the symbol there is a z in front here another type is the light emitting diode this is the most common diode that it has so many many applications uh, the symbol is as shown hapo so it is a diode that gives light when forward bias so ki weka tu under forward bias it gives light The concept behind here ni kwamba unavyoconnect under forward bias as I said you remember kwenye PN junction 
this is the electron side and this is the proton side positive and under forward bias where the negative is connected to negative positive to positive okay these holes are repelled here and the electrons are repelled therefore it reaches a time it reaches a time whereby they meet somewhere and there is a recombination that occurs co electron in a combined na a hole remember nilisema a hole is an absence of electron ko kuna pokuwa na hole hapa na kuna kuwa na electron hapa hii electron ikili combine na hole electron hii ita lose energy flani kwa sababu imelazimisho kuenda sehemu ambapo kulikuwa na lower energy level ok so as a result of the recombination energy flani ita kuwa lost ok energy flani hiyo energy na ukuwa lost ndo inakuwa lost in form of light ndo mana in light emitting diode therefore uh, when forward bias electrons from any type cross junction to combine with holes this causes loss of energy in form of heat and light in silicon and germanium all the energy that is lost is lost in form of heat so it is not every kind of material that can form light emitting diode there are some of materials in which this recombination leads to heat okay however there are some of materials in which this recombination leads to light for instance when you use gallium and arsenic they they act as good light emitting diode materials this their recombination forms the, the heat so advantages of light emitting diodes that they have low voltage longer life fast on off on and off switching their self explanatory is na jielezo zenye application ni kama nivo zi list hapo konezo kaona they are used to illuminate traffic this is traffic it's not seen clearly but it's traffic this is traffic so laser diode laser diode is like an light emitting diode only that laser the energy is in form of infrared okay infrared infrared that for light emitting diode the energy that is released is light 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 energy however for laser diodes the energy that is emitted is infrared okay the energy that is emitted is infrared that is usually around uh, red in color applications a laser diode kwa mfano laser diode inaweza ikatumika kwenye laser pointers laser pointers laser pointers hizi wanatumia sana ma lecture la mtaona mkija chuoni unakuta mtu ana nika pointer fulani anakuwa kama kanakotumia mimi ku direct lakini sasa unakuta na project ukutani nikifaa na bonyeza kinatoa iki kipointer hichi cha laser ukutani again inatumika kwenye optic fibers optic fibers pia wanatumia hizi laser diodes again inatumika kwenye eh, blu-ray discs blu-ray discs and uh, old cd and dvd systems players okay they use the laser diode ukifungua dvd player kuna kinyani fulani kama kijicho cha blue hivi kama diamond fulani hivi kwa hiyo ile ndo inakuwa ni laser laser inakuwa ni kama jicho la dvd player kwa hiyo natumia principle ya laser kusoma cd discs especially blu ray discs photo diode actually yenyewe ni reverse na yenyewe ni reverse biased kama ilivyo kwenye zina diode ambayo inatumia silicon na germanium pia ni junction in which reverse current increases when the diode is exposed to light so the more you expose the diode to light unapunguza resistance na kuongeza current so the principle is that when reverse bias small leaking current is produced A light falling through in photons energy imparted by photons to the atoms in junction to create more free electrons uh, to increase the reverse current so energy ambayo inakuja kuiangukia in terms of photo photons 
umeona simbo yake ni tofauti na light emitting diode light emitting diode mishale inageukia kwenye kutoka Lighting, light emitting diode mishale wa inatoka but for this one mishale inaingia so it means light is coming so light coming in terms of photons in a strike in the electrons and and and, 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 and holes so in regions ambapo zime recombine ina, ina, ina zifanya ziwe free inazifanya ziwe free so it creates more free electrons and holes to increase the reverse current so it is given by that the formula is just simple that reverse current in sasana current sensitivity times illumination ni 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 equation tu ambayo nataka kuonesha um, how illumination light intensity relates to the current so current is directly proportional to illumination the higher the current the, the, the higher the current depends uh, on the amount of photons or light that is coming there the, the light the higher the current and the lower the resistance as i've said here application the uh, as shown here detection of optical signal switching light on off electronic counters the modulation of optic signals speed reading of computer punched cards the applications are listed there again we have phototransistor diode which is actually more or less inafanana na photodiode except that badala ya hiki diode kwa hapa yenyewe natumia transistor okay inakuwa na simbo ya transistor inakuwa na simbo ya transistor kama hivyo okay usually wanasema it is usually used in combination with photodiode lakini yenyewe inakuwa ina inajitegemea tutaona kwenye transistor si rahisi kuelezea ukaelewa sasa hivi sababu tujasoma transistor lakini ujue tu kwamba kuna kitu kinaitwa phototransistor diode instead of diode alone it usually used or it is incorporated inatumika na pamoja na transistor ba, function yake ni kama hii hapa sawa ni kazi yake inavyofanya ni kama photodiode only that ina differences differences between photodiode na phototransistor diode utofauti wake ni kwamba kwenye photodiodes phototransistor diodes kwenye phototransistor diodes the frequency and response you compare photodiodes are much faster than phototransistors kwa sababu yeah, huyu ni nanoseconds huyu anakuwa microseconds so photodiodes are much faster than phototransistors while gain in terms of how much you gain the advantage phototransistors have higher gain gain is the uh, the ratio of the output to input ni kama efficiency okay the output output to input so with phototransistors you have higher gain than the photodiodes photodiodes require an amplifier to use usually the output is usually uh, smaller the output is usually smaller so the, you need to amplify it so that it can be significant Again temperature response photodiodes vary less with temperature while transistors vary more with temperatures it is because as i said semiconductors are very sensitive to temperature so with transistors you have more semiconductors because you have the diode i said it is using combination photodiodes and again the transistor itself is entirely made of semiconductors that's why for uh, photodiodes vary less with temperatures compared to the transistor diodes We have an addition though it's not a diode but it's a kind relating to photodiodes and light emitting diodes which is the light dependent resistor it is you can confuse it with photodiodes though it is different for this one what changes is the uh, value of uh, light with the resistance okay um, it's a resistor this one is a resistor this is a diode so this diode actually is sensitive to light so it is semiconductors whose resistance decreases as light falls on them so this is specifically the a resistor that when you fall more light you decrease the resistance of the resistor so the effect is caused by light photons setting free electrons in the semiconductor the mechanism is just like photodiodes photons come they strike the semiconductor making it to release more free electrons and holes to increase reverse kind whenever there is any recombination it splits them and creates more free electrons and holes and increases the conduction the uses of light dependent resistor are here 
okay they use this photographic exposure meters and switching street lights that whenever there is darkness light can switch on whenever there is light light can switch off so these are some of the uses of light dependent resistors